Good evening. You are watching Rajya Sabha Television. I am Smriti Rastogi with Rajya Sabha News. Let's begin the bulletin with the headlines. Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day after paying tributes to late DMK stalwart M Karunanidhi. Rajya Sabha Chairman M Venkaiah Naidu describes him as one of the tallest leaders of the country. Contest between NDA candidate Harivansh and opposition nominee BK Hari Prasad for the post of Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman. Election to be held at 11 a.m. on Thursday. And both ruling NDA and opposition confident of victory in Thursday's Deputy Chairman election. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Vijay Goyal says NDA's unity will come to the fore tomorrow. The Rajya Sabha was today adjourned after making obituary reference to the late DMK stalwart M. Karunanidhi. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu described him as one of the tallest leaders of the country. After remembering the leader, members of the House stood in silence for a few minutes. Honourable members, I refer with profound sorrow to the passing away of Dr. Kalingar M. Karunanidhi, President of the DMK Party and former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu on the 7th of August 2018 at the age of 94 years. He was popularly known as Kalingar. Born in June 1924 at Chirukuvayalai in Nagapatnam district of Tamil Nadu, Dr. Karunanidhi was a multifaceted personality. Right from his childhood, he showed keen interest in drama, poetry and literature and was also actively engaged in social work. In his public life, he turned out to be a gritty fighter and overcame several challenges during his long stint in public life. He began his career as a screenwriter in the Tamil film industry and rose to fame through his popular movie scripts which touched upon various social issues like widow marriage, eradication of untouchability, abolition of jamindari, among others. He used Tamil cinema to propagate his political ideas and Dravidian ideology. Dr. Karunanidhi's passion for the Tamil language and the literature is reflected in his several works including poems, letters, novels, biographies, stage plays and essays. He had also contributed to Tamil culture through art and architecture. He was instrumental in the construction of Valluvar Kottam, which gave an architectural presence to Thiruvalluvar in Chennai and of the 133 foot high statue of Thiruvalluvar at Kanyakumari. He founded the newspaper Morasoli in 1942 and since then had been the editor and publisher of this newspaper. Dr. Karunanandi entered politics at a very young, very early age and was the founder member of the Dravida Munnayat Kajigam. He started his legislative career as a member of the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly in the year 1957 and was a member of that assembly for a record 13 times from seven different constituencies. His oratorial administrative skill and pro-people initiatives established him as a mass leader. He served as the Minister for Public Works in the government of Tamil Nadu in 1967 and before becoming the third Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu in the in 1969. He served as the Chief Minister for five terms, from 1969 to 71, from 71 to 76, from 1989 to 1991, from 1996 to 2001, and from 2006 to 2011. He played a key role in scripting the growth and the development of Tamil Nadu, which in turn catalyzed that of the country. In the passing away of Dr. M. Karunanidhi, the country has lost an eminent Literator, an able administrator, a dedicated social worker, and an outstanding statesman. We deeply mourn the passing away of Dr. M. Karunanidhi. I request the members to raise in their places and observe silence as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed.
and the elections to the post of Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman will be held on Thursday at 11 a.m. It's a direct contest between NDA candidate Hari Vansh and opposition nominee B.K. Hari Prasad. Take a look at how the numbers pan out in the upper house. The election to the post of Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman will see a direct contest between NDA nominee Hari Vansh and opposition nominee B.K. Hari Prasad. Both the ruling NDA and the opposition camp have given notices on behalf of their respective candidates. Four sets of notices were given supporting Harivansh as the NDA nominee. These included BJP President and Rajya Sabha member Amit Shah, Shiv Sena MP Sanjay Raut, Akali Dal leader Sukhdev Singh Dhinsa, RPI leader Ramdas Athavle and JDU leader RCP Singh. Harivansh has the support of 119 members out of the current 244 members of the upper house, which puts him four members away from the majority mark. However, BJP claims that garnering support would not be a problem. I believe that he is a whole national jantantric morche ke pratyashi hai. And morche ke bahar bhi bhoot saare dal hai, jo unke prati samman ke bhaavna rakhte hai, to woh bhi is chunao mein hamayi saath denge. And is liye hamare pratyashi shi Harivan Shiji ka jeetna tay hai. Five sets of notices were given for the opposition candidate BK Hari Prasad, Congress's Gulam Nabi Azad, TMC's Derek O'Brien, Samajwadi Party's Ram Gopal Yadav, BSP's Satish Mishra, NCP's Vandana Chavan were among those who proposed his name as the opposition candidate. The opposition seems to have the support of 110 members. However, Congress leader Anand Sharma has claimed that their candidate enjoys the support of independents and other parties as well. We have a formidable candidate, not the NDA, making it very clear. NDA as such did not have majority, does not have majority. They have gone well beyond the fold of the NDA to get votes. Earlier, BJP and Congress had indicated that they will nominate a consensus candidate. But with both the ruling party and the opposition backing their own candidates, all eyes are on which way the 15 independent members and others will swing. By supporting the JDO candidate, the BJP tried to appease allies like Shiv Sena and Akali Dal. As a result, parties supporting JDU are also likely to vote for the NDA candidate. BJD leader Naveen Patnaik admitted that he will encourage his party members to vote for Harivansh after Nitish Kumar approached him. Another crucial factor is the DMK. With many of their members in Chennai mourning the loss of their leader M. Karunanidhi, in a bid to appease DMK members, Nitish Kumar, meanwhile, has announced a two-day state mourning for Karunanidhi. The election will be held as scheduled at 11 a.m. on Thursday. The post of Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman has been lying vacant since the retirement of P.J. Kurian on the 1st of July. With inputs from Akhilesh Suman, Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. The election to the post of Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman will be held on Thursday at 11 a.m. It will be a direct contest between NDA candidate Hari Vansh and opposition nominee B.K. Hari Prasad. Speaking exclusively to Rajya Sabha Television, Hari Vansh exuded confidence that NDA will win. You are the candidate of the NDA. How are you placed with your numbers? How confident are you that numbers are going to be in your favour? मैं इंडिया का उम्मीदवार हूं और इंडिया को बहुमत है आपने देखा कि सरकार चलाने में कई महत्वपूर्ण बिलों पर किस तरह इंडिया को कामयाबी मिली है हम आश्वस्त हैं कि हम बहुत अच्छी तरह जीतेंगे। Sir, also there were reports that the JDU has spoken to the BJD for extending the support. हम लोग इंडिया में हैं और सब मिलकर काम करते हैं यह अगर ऐसा अनुरोध हुआ है तो यह काम करने का हिस्सा है। so the opposition today claimed that the government did not reach out to them for a consensus candidate, otherwise they would have thought over it. इसका उत्तर हमारे माननीय संसदीय राज्य मंत्री विजय गोयल जी ने दिया कि वो लगातार सबसे संपर्क में थे पर विपक्ष ने पहले से तय किया था कि हमें कोई प्रत्याशी उतारना। So lastly, how confident are you of your victory? Surface दी। Absolutely. All the very best. Thank you so much for talking to Rajya Sabha Television. Reporting from Delhi, with camera person Sanjay, I'm Kruti Mishra for Rajya Sabha Television. And speaking exclusively to Rajya Sabha Television, opposition candidate B.K. Hari Prasad said that in democracy, it is important to contest. Let's listen in. You are the joint candidate of the opposition, but do you think that the numbers are stacked in your favour? Well, when the joint opposition uh, uh, leaders have uh, jointly taken a decision to field a candidate uh, from our party, and it's a great honour, and uh, without the numbers, whether we have numbers or not, that's secondary for us. But in a democratic setup, it is uh, the elections are, are must. And we tried for a consensus. The government should have tried for a consensus when they have not done for the past four years. The joint opposition has jointly decided to fill me as a candidate. 
So is it just a symbolic election because uh, the government has underscored the need time and again for a consensus candidate? Uh, always, the government, in the, after 2014, we have not seen any decision which was taken with consensus. Here also, they want to fight and that's fair enough. In democracy, we'll have to fight election, we are fighting. And also, are you trying to reach out to other parties, other political parties well, for their support? All my senior leaders in the party and even opposition uh, uh, leaders, or senior leaders are talking to all the uh, political parties to support the joint opposition. Thank you so much for talking to Ratsabha Television. All the best. Reporting from Delhi with cameraperson Sanjay, I'm Kriti Mishra for Rajya Sabha TV. And in an exclusive chat with Rajya Sabha Television, MOS Parliamentary Affairs Vijay Goyal said that NDA's unity would be exhibited before all those who are trying to find chinks in the alliance. Mr. Harivansh is NDA's nominee for the deputy chairman of the Rajya Sabha. Now many are saying that this move is to keep the allies in good humour by the government. I think all of the allies are with us only and uh, comfortably we will win this election uh, tomorrow and, uh, and the selection of the deputy chairman Raj Sabha candidate I think it's uh, on merit only and uh, this uh, Harivansh is uh, a, a known person uh, at least in the circle of the journalism, journalism circle and he knows about rules and regulations and I think uh, he will conduct the house uh, very good. Well, Mr. Goel, how is the number game going to play out? How is the arithmetic going to be in your favour? Basically, uh, we have approached all the parties to support the NDA candidate and I think we will gather more than our strength, not only allies but other parties also can support us. How confident are you of your victory? I am very confident you can see a victory on my face. Absolutely. All the best. Thank you so much for talking to Rod Sabha Television. Reporting from Delhi with Cameraperson Sanjay and Prithi Mishra for Rod Sabha Television. And that's all we have for you in this edition. Thank you for watching.